guys, welcome back to another episode of Sea Cell. And for today's vlog or for today's episode, we are gonna be doing a 3D model of a cell membrane just like this. Yeah! Look at that! And the good news, guys, is I used a recyclable and indigenous materials out from the materials that I found in our house. So if you want to know what are the things that I use and how I made this 3D cell membrane, just keep on watching. But first, let us try to find out what is a cell membrane. Cell membrane, also called as plasma membrane, is the semi-permeable membrane of a cell that surrounds and encloses its contents of cytoplasm and nucleoplasm. Cell membrane separates the interior of the cell from the outside environment. Also, it regulates the transport of materials entering and exiting the cell. So now we already had an idea about the cell membrane, now we can now move on to the making of the 3D model. The material that I use in first step is a box of a diaper, a scissor, and a cutter because I wanted to have the desired size that I like. And it turned out to be good. The second step is I used a construction paper because I don't like the plain brown because it's just too plain for me. So I use a yellow bright color so it will um, complement the model. So I just glued it over the box of the diaper and voila, it's all good. For the third step, I use the egg of tray and cut it into halves so that I will have like more of um, a mold or a guide and stick it out with a stick glue. And the next step is um, I use the used paper that I have in my room and crumple it out and I will use this as head. And I just continue to crumple all of the papers that I cut it out into four since it's from a long bond paper and I cut it into four. And the next step is I'm going to place it on top and on bottom but as you can see I just started the top and after this one I started in the bottom. Next step that I'll be making is I'm using a straw for the tails and I use different colors because I just don't like having the same color for all the tail because it looks so plain and boring. For step 8, I recycled my plant cell model and I used the back part of the styrofoam so that I can make it the integral protein and use the purple so that it may have a variation of colors. And also same goes with my protein, it also came from the styrofoam from the plant cell model. Next part is I draw the channel protein because I couldn't find any object in our house that I can make use of. So I just drew it and just put it on. For the glycoprotein, I combined the straw and the purple construction paper and I just draw some circles and cut it out and put it on the straw and just stick it on the styrofoam and then I use it for the glycolipids also. Next step is just stick the model to the box of diaper. At this juncture, we are finally done with our 3D cell membrane model. And this is the final look.
I have here the 3D model of a cell membrane and now let us discuss the different functions of its part. Let us start with fissolipid bilayer. Fissolipid bilayer is a critical component of a cell membrane. This acts as a barrier of the passage of the molecules and ions in and out of the cell. Next is the integral protein. The main function of the integral protein is to allow the polar and big molecules to pass across the membrane which are restricted by the fissolipid bilayer. The next is glycoprotein. Glycoprotein in cell membrane is very important for cell-to-cell -cell recognition and adhesion, as well as serving as receptors for other type of molecules. The next one is the hydrophilic and hydrophobic tail. The head loves water which is hydrophilic and the tails hate water which is hydrophobic. The water hating tails are on the interior of the membrane, whereas the water loving head points outward towards either the cytoplasm or the, or the fluids that surrounds the cell. The next one is glycolipids. Glycolipids are lipids with a carbohydrate attached by a glycosidic bond or a covalent bond. Their role is to maintain the stability of the cell membrane and to facilitate the cell recognition, which is crucial to the immune response and in the connections that allow cells to connect to one another to form tissues. Last is the channel protein. Channel protein, a type of a transport protein, acts like a pore in the membrane that lets the water molecules or small ions through quickly. And that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this another episode of Sea Cell and watch out for more episodes. See you on my next video.